Hey guys, it's Brandon, and today I'll be showing you how to make a wobble base. I'm going to make mine in reason, but hopefully this will be helpful for any DAW since it's pretty much the same idea. Be sure to leave me comments on what I did right and what I could do better next time. But let's get started. First off, we need a base to wobble. I'll throw one together in Thor real quick. Since the routing in Thor is one of the three ways, I'll show you how to get a base to wobble. If you already have a base, you don't need to create this one, and you don't need this exact sound wobble. But I'm going to show you how to make a simple one in case you don't have one already. So let's create a Thor and right click and reset device. Now go ahead and open the programmer. I'm going to put some notes on the track so you can hear what we're doing. Creating an additional analog oscillator and a wavetable oscillator and run them into filter A. Set the wavetable to PPG T040 base and its position to 50. The analog oscillators can be set on the triangle waveform, one on octave 4 and the other on octave 3. Now I'm giving you specific numbers, but like I said earlier, you can make anything wobble. So have fun with it. In the amp envelope, turn the decay down all the way and the sustain all the way up so our bass doesn't lose volume over time. Now turn the attack up to 47 milliseconds so we don't get a clicky sound. And turn the release all the way down so the sound doesn't trail off when we're done playing the note. Finally, to beef up the sound, turn on the chorus. But bring the dry wet knob to about 22, so we use more of the original sound instead of the overly beefy chorus sound. And now we're ready to start wobbling. The most essential instrument in a wobble is the low pass filter. It does exactly what it sounds like. It filters out any frequencies over the specified level that you set. So as we bring it down, we lose the higher frequencies of our sound, and we are left with the bassy part. The wobble effect is created when we modulate the frequency cutoff on the filter. For our wobble, we are going to leave the filter cutoff at 213 Hz to start, and the resonance at 28. Resonance takes some of the lost sound that is cut by the filter and feeds it back into our sound. We'll play around a little more with it later. So now that we have our Thor ready to go, right click and copy devices and tracks. Go ahead and paste two more Thors for later. Make sure to solo the first Thor in the sequencer though, so you just hear the Thor we are working on. This is probably the easiest way to get a wobble bass out of Thor, but Maelstrom and pretty much every other synthesizer has internal routing, so this would work with just about everything. Turn on Tempo Sync for LFO1. In the routing section in the bottom, source the LFO1 at 100 amount to the destination Filter 1 Frequency. As we adjust the rate knob on the LFO, our wobble changes speed. So if we right click and edit automation on the rate knob, we can have it change during the song without us having to move it. In the sequencer, a new lane has been created for the LFO 1 rate. By using the pencil tool, we can draw in levels, or speeds in this case, for the wobble. And that's the first way to make a bass wobble. Now go ahead and solo a different Thor, and let's make another wobble. This method is also very simple.
Inside the door, right click and edit automation on the filter frequency. Instead of using a LFO, a low frequency oscillator, to control the filter cutoff, we will do it by hand. Although this method takes a bit more work and may be tedious, drawing in modulations is much more precise and can create much cooler effects. As you can see, the sequencer now has a no lane for us to draw in levels for the filter cutoff. It may be harder to create smooth wobbles, but this method works great for slow filter openings and for stabs, as the modulation I drew shows. Now is a good time to play with the resonance knob. You can see by turning it up, you get a much different tone. And that's two down, one to go. The final method is much more complex, but can provide very cool and unique wobbles. Go ahead and solo the final Thor. Now right click on the Thor and click Combine. Putting multiple devices into a single combinator can really help keep your projects organized and allows you to load complex patches that you make into future songs, like a wobble bass for instance. Now here is where things get a little complicated, but I'll do my best to explain to you why we are doing what we're doing. Inside of the combinator, right click, hold down shift, and create a Maelstrom Grain Table Synthesizer. Also right click, hold down shift, and create a spider CV merger and splitter. The reason we held shift was so that the new devices would not connect to anything when we created them. As you can see when you hit tab. Now go ahead and right click on the Maelstrom and reset device. Although we could use Maelstrom to create a base like we use Thor, instead we are going to use Maelstrom essentially as our LFO to modulate the filter in our Thor. I like using Maelstrom as an LFO since it has so many curves in its modulator. But instead of using just one curve, we are going to combine two curves from the Maelstrom's Mod A and Mod B to make something exciting and unique. To do this, hit Tab to flip the rack over. Connect the Mod A and the Mod B from the Mod Output to the Merger section of the Spider. This will combine the two outputs. Now connect our new signal from the spider merge to the filter 1 frequency on the back of our Thor. The mods from the Maelstrom are now controlling our wobble. The real fun starts when we start changing the curves in the Maelstrom and their rates to get complex wobbles. I prefer to keep my rates synced. I think curve 20 and curve 16 at 1 quarter is pretty cool, especially if you invert the filter on our Thor. So there we have it, three methods of making a bass wobble. Please leave me comments on what you liked about this tutorial, what I could have done better, and what I should do next for my next tutorial next. Also check out my tracks on YouTube and SoundCloud at the official precipice, the spellings in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.